Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia! Just got one more lithograph to go, so let's get it. Door number six. I don't think you need a uh, shadow for this part, but I want to use shadow. Yeah, nail those mummies. Wow, I can kill them in one hit and then just block their souls! Ha! Got him. Uh-oh. It's a dead end. I could just sink down here, but you could just go through this tomb right here. Or, uh, wherever, whatever that thing is. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's kill these guys over here first. Ha! Just run right into me. Let's see. Ah, there we go. I think there's an enemy down here, if I'm not mistaken. This part's pretty easy. Ha! Got him. Yeah, I saw you on my radar. With my psychic powers. Not to mention, whenever I touch anything, it kind of lights up, you know? Just light it on fire like that, just like your soul! Did I miss someone up there? No, I didn't. But there is an invisible enemy over there. Apparently, some of those bird heads don't have bodies attached to them. Hey, hey, all right, maximum HP. Looks like I've done a pretty good job there. Just got one more room to go. Whoa, hey! I think this is the last room where you can get a stat gain in the game. So just make sure you kill everything. All the mummies, if they're dead, kill them again. That's the whole idea of this area. Eh, I can't go down there. Oh, this part can get a little irritating. Just get past those balls of fire. Huh. There we go. Now, I could go down from there, but actually, let's go over here, because I think there's some enemies down here. I suppose I could have taken the lower path to get there, but whatever. I think this is a little faster. Oh, hey! Ha! Ha! Got him. Yes! The final defense gain in the game, I think. But H.C. Bailey, you still have two mystic statues to go for. Well, you'll find out what's going on soon enough. Let's see. What the? Aren't I? Isn't there like a... Ah, there we go. Yeah, gotta be careful there. All right, the last lithograph is mine! Oh, I'm gonna miss this area. If it's not my favorite area in the game, it's gotta be up there. It's got the music, the, uh, you know, the puzzles, not too mazy, things like that, you know? Okay, well, before putting that last lithograph to use, I should, uh, rest up here first. Alright, it's time to unlock the secrets of the pyramid with the final lithograph. And... What's going on? Uh, okay, who's found? Is that you, Lance? You're the one with the green colored text. Whoa! Who's that guy? A jackal! Jackal! It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Oh, it's the jackal. Huh. For some reason, I thought he'd look... I, I, I don't know. More sinister. Something like that. Light of the comet, huh? Oh, well, yeah, I'm on fire. What do you think? Uh, I, I could set people on fire and get a nice sword and shoot fireballs out of it. Uh, okay, I I'll just take your word for it. Oh no! He was behind the plot all along! I, I, I guess so. What are we gonna do now? We gotta get the statues, or we could go to Edward Castle. What? Oh, that voice again. But I'm on fire! Oh, we can just transform whenever we want to now, I guess. Yeah, we, we gotta play uh, Lola's Malady, I, I guess. Maybe, uh, you know, the Jack will like our music and he'll, he'll let Kara go. And everything will be back to normal. You like the music? Encore? Hmm? Popcorn? How about it, Jackal? What's going on? Whoa! So 
that was the trap that uh, that guy was talking about earlier. So let me get this straight. At some time during the coke party, I mean storyboard meeting, someone had to say, okay, here's how Will is going to deal with the jackal. Will's dad is going to telepathically tell him to play his magic flute. So he does. That tune will trigger a booby trap in the pyramid that will burn the jackal alive. Well, couldn't we make him explode or something? No, no, no. That's too unrealistic. Burn him alive! Burn him! Burn him! No boss fight or anything. You know, we couldn't have that. You know, just make the jackal completely trivial uh, in the whole grand scheme of things. I thought we were looking for my father. Uh, okay. I mean, the, the Jackal should have been like a major boss fight with unique music. Kind of like, uh, I don't, I don't think he had unique music, but like, kind of like the Dark Lord in Final Fantasy Adventure or something like that, you know? But instead, it's just completely trivial. I mean, I suppose it makes about as much sense as anything else in this game. I mean, at least they're consistent, though. I'll give them props for that, you know? They don't, like, start out silly and then try to become serious at the end. No! They gotta go all the way. What was that? Oh, yeah, we got this uh, portal open now here, so let me just take a quick pause break, and then we'll check that out. Oh, and transform into Shadow, of course. Okay, we've got Shadow re- oh, well, almost ready to go. Get the aura equipped before uh, jumping in there. Got a mummified queen of the pyramid in that portal, apparently. So, it's boss time! We don't get to fight the jackal. We have to fight a mummified queen who has basically no bearing on the plot. Get back here! You gotta take that portal or something to get up here, so that way you can hit her sometimes. She'll split up into these eight soul things or whatever, and then she'll reform eventually. So just mount while she's reforming there, hit her again. Sometimes she'll make loose bricks fall from the ceiling on top of you, so you, you gotta watch out for that. Uh, sometimes she'll try to shoot energy balls at you. But, you know, as long as you uh, got Shadow here, you can just melt, and by the time he reforms, she'll, uh, or, yeah, by the time I reform, so will she have, and those little soul things won't hurt me. Uh, you can't block them like like this. You can't block them. That doesn't work. <laughs> Not like against the mummies there. No, no. Her soul's too powerful for that. Well, and unfortunately, I can only hit her once at a time, because once I hit her, she'll split up again. Oh, yeah, now she does this. Um, I didn't get a chance to really show what happened there, but sometimes when she splits up into eight parts, uh, what'll happen is they'll just circle around, and only one of them is real. So you gotta hit the right one, and then that'll cause her to reform. Let's see, uh, yeah, yeah, you see how one of them is kind of more solid? One of them is more solid than the other seven. That's the one you have to hit. There! Got it. Ha! Almost got her. I'm making this look a lot easier than it actually is. The first time I tried this, viewers, oh man, she can be a little hard, but we got her. You can also jump down from that middle platform there if you want to, but I find it easier just to stay up top and hit her from there. And of course she has the fifth mystic statue. Yay! Uh, sorry, I just kind of left you here with the dead body, but you know. Yeah, yeah, it was my dad all along. I suppose I kind of spoiled it, but like, five minutes before, but whatever. Well, yeah, I kind of left you there to die, but... Five mystic statues? What happened to six? I thought, weren't there six? Huh. And there's a comet approaching, too. Oh, no. Huh. Oh, yeah, it's kind of on an island. Oh, but Neil has an airplane to take us to the island of the Tower of Babel. Two seconds before we actually needed it. Of course! Why not? 
Now we could talk to Neil to go to the Tower of Babel, but let's not do that yet. Let's talk to Jem here and... Oh! We only have 49, but... I'm about to go to the final area! Did I... Did I miss one along the way? Huh! Well, I, I'm sorry, viewers. I, I guess I missed one. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I don't know what's going on. So what awaits us at the Tower of Babel? Didn't we need six mystic statues? Can we save the world from a comet that isn't even going to hit us? Find out next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.